Two minutes after five now, here's a live look at our nation's capital. Today, the House of Representatives will vote to limit President Trump's ability to take military action against Iran. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is live in our satellite feed center with how people here in the Bay Area are sending a message to the president. Well, more than 100 people are expected to show up in St. Pete this evening to protest President Trump's actions against Iran. Now, this is only one of several war protests scheduled across the country today. This comes nearly a week after a U.S. strike killed Iran's top general. And yesterday, Iran launched missiles at two bases housing U.S. troops. And over in Washington, House Democrats will vote on a war powers resolution to reassert Congress's authority to declare war. Speaker Nancy Pelosi says part of that vote would be to mandate that without any congressional approval, the Trump administration's military actions against Iran stop within 30 days. The resolution would make clear that if the president wants to go to war with Iran, he must get authorization from Congress first. Congress uh, for decades has tried to have it both ways. Uh, they, want to, they want the freedom to criticize decisions made by the commander in chief, but they don't want the, the responsibility to make those decisions in lieu of the commander in chief.